So Radio Exterior España announced last night that it is all but certain they'll be axing shortwave broadcasting completely. Not partially. Um, international shortwave broadcasting from Spain is going to come to an end. This is a trend in the West that is disturbing to me. I think there is this sense among Westerners, uh, and for a while I was one of these, um, that because the internet is so ubiquitous here, because online broadcasting is so accessible and easy for us to um, take advantage of here, that it must be like that everywhere in the world. In reality, nothing could be farther from the truth. Yes, you know, Western audiences primarily have internet access now. Um, and so targeting Western countries with international shortwave broadcast, I can understand cutting back on it a little bit, you know, when, when governments are strapped for cash. Um, I think Germany struck a, a fairly good balance by um, moving their transmitter site uh, to uh, Kigali, Rwanda, and focusing on Africa, focusing on the developing world. Um, because it is the developing world that needs, desperately needs, international shortwave broadcasting. Um, people in rural areas in developing countries, people who are economically disadvantaged, don't have access to um, the internet. And people forget that the radio is still their only uh, reliable way to get news um, from the outside world. And the world of information, the world of ideas, uh, is an extremely powerful thing. And these people deserve uh, access to it. And by axing shortwave, the West is saying, well, you know, we're not going to, uh, to make our voice and our viewpoint and our ideas uh, available anymore uh, to uh, these people in the developing world. But do you know who is taking shortwave broadcasting seriously? Do you know who is bucking the trend and turning around and actually starting to invest more in international shortwave broadcasting to fill the void that Western broadcasters have created? stations like CRI. Now, CRI is um, going to be my employer in about two weeks, but I'm not ashamed to say that because I think they are a very reputable, um, neutral, uh, and certainly extensive international broadcaster. Yes, they give China's viewpoint, but in no more um, insidious of a way than does the Voice of America, and they're certainly more neutral than a station like Radio Marti or Radio Free Asia, or Radio Liberty, Radio Free Europe, for that matter. Um, I really think they are gaining the reputation slowly uh, as the BBC of the East. And so Western uh, broadcast outlets really need to ask themselves, do you want CRI to fill this void that you're leaving? because stations like CRI are going to do just that. Um, I'm listening to them on uh, 22 meters right now, uh, the relay site from Cuba that uh, gets amazing reception here in the U.S. Uh, and it's likely that um, many of their uh, English broadcasts from transmitters in China um, will uh, be replaced with um, transmissions uh, from Europe and uh, from Cuba. Uh, that makes more sense financially for the station, but what they're not doing is axing shortwave entirely. They're figuring out how to make it work with the resources that they have, and they are um, seeking Western uh, journalists. They are uh, trying to truly portray the face of an international media organization, and I think they're succeeding. Um, so I look forward to uh, catching all of you on the airwaves uh, once I start my new job. Um, 
and let's listen to CRI News for just a few minutes. You know, for people, uh, you're not just uh, men, but I mean women as well, uh, that when you do get into these, uh, the retirement years, that you, you have something to do outside the house so that yeah. you're not bumping into one another all the time and, you know, at, at each other's throats. Anyway, thank you very much, Lil Wen. Well, as per our custom this week, we're going to be extending our sports coverage now. And joining me on the desk, Alexander Olcott. Hello there, Paul. We had a lot to get through today. And starting you off with the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing. And they've been seeing a closely fought battle on the trampolines. Earlier I spoke to CRI's Jordan Lee, who's been watching the action. Notice that's not talk about politics. That's not heavy-handed propaganda. That's sports news. Um, that's... News on the Youth Olympics. That's international news. That's stuff international listeners want to hear about. And notice those are Western accents. Um, so this is, you know, this is my my question and my challenge to the people who are you know, staying behind in the West while while I move east. Um, I want to see more um, broadcasters go back uh, onto shortwave. Um, from east and west. The more viewpoints, the more stations, the better. And there's room on the HF bands for everyone. Um, and I think it's sad that uh, stations, uh, great stations uh, like Radio Exterior España, um, are throwing in the towel. Um, I really hope that... Uh, uh, Radio New Zealand International does not follow suit um, because they're a great station, as is Radio Romania International. In fact, those are probably um, two of the best stations still on shortwave, um, uh, at least as far as Western countries are concerned, although Romania is not strictly Western or Eastern. It's kind of its own thing. Anyway, I've rambled for too long, um, but this is another you know, sort of rant, but radio matters, folks. And it matters to a lot of people in the world who don't have access to their information any other way. Thanks for listening, 73.